Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to change this stock Nissan S15 into the Rocket Bunny, James Dean's number 130 Warthouse Formula Drift livery. And here's a quick look at the finished car with the full livery design, the full kit, the wheels, everything is basically as perfectly matching as it can be to the real life car. And the only difference is, is that the wing mirrors and the roll cage are metallic blue. In real life they're white, but on the game you can only change the spoiler cage and the wing mirrors at the same time. And if you don't have the spoiler, you know, the shiny metallic light blue, it just doesn't look right. But if you want, you can change the colour of all three of those to white, black, the, the blue that I've got here, anything you want. But this is as close as you can physically get to the Warthouse James Dean Formula Drift livery on CarX Drift Racing Online. And so now, let's get into the design. I'm not going to talk over the whole video, I'm just going to sort of tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and then you can see exactly what I'm doing. But first of all, we're going to start off with a basic tune. So just copy what I've got here and it's only tuning the wheels, the, you know, the size, the suspension, alignment and the fitment. So it's a basic drift tune, so it works for drifting, works really well for drifting. But I've not touched the engine or the transmission or all that stuff. This is just to get that drift car look and, you know, fitment and everything. And just so that the car looks right and it's got a basic drift tune. And now we'll move on to the body kit and just copy everything I've got here. Copy the wheels I've got. They're the closest to the real life wheels that he uses. Um, same with the body kit. I've got everything as close as I can possibly get it to the in real life car. So just follow what I've got here and you'll be all right. I'll leave you with that and I'll pop in with some more notes in a couple seconds. And so there we go, we've got a nice rocket bunny kit on here, we've got the car looking as close as we can to the in real life car, and at the end of the video I'll show you the seats, steering wheel, handbrake and shifter that is used in the in real life car. I'll leave that to the end and we'll just get on with the livery now. And just before we get into the livery, in case any of you are wondering, as with all my tune setups and livery designs, there's no tyre rub, there's no wheels glitching through the fenders, even on full lock, so it's always looking clean. And before we get started, here's just another quick look at the finished, you know, car itself, apart from the seats and all the interior stuff, which we'll do at the end. So now we go into the design editor itself and start putting the vinyls on and building the actual livery. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by setting up a little trick for designing stuff and painting stuff. Basically all we're going to do is just get a big square and make it cover one whole side of the car, paint it black and then copy that square all the way across the whole car and make sure that you're projecting it and moving it across so that it fills the car and there's no blank space. This is why you need to change the colour to black because you can easily see if all the space is coloured in. And once you've got it, you know, completely covered the whole car, go back, change it to gloss colour and change it to this white that I've used there. So all the way on the bottom left and do that for the whole car. And basically what this is, is a little trick that means like when you go back into the paint editor, so not the vinyl editor that we're in now, but the paint editor, when you change the colour of that, it's only going to change the colour of the spoiler, the roll cage and the wing mirrors. And we need that to finish off the design, which is a later step in the video. So make sure you do this first. And now we're going to be starting on the actual design itself. And first thing you want to do is get a square, a square vinyl shape like this. And you want to change it to this exact colour that I show you now and make it metallic paint style or paint material as well. So this red and it's got to be metallic. And once you've done that, just move the square over to, into this uh, spot here and then duplicate or copy that square, turn it a little bit and basically put both those squares where you see me put it here. Thank you. 
So the next thing you want to do is don't worry about me choosing a square. I actually chose the wrong thing, but just look at the color I'm choosing. Gloss color and the paint has got to be this blue. So this blue in gloss, make sure you've got that color chosen and like saved. And then what you actually want to do is open up a triangle shape, which is this one here and put it to that color. I just made a mistake, I chose the wrong vinyl. So the color that we just that I just showed you and choose this vinyl shape here. And then what you want to do is open up the extra options menu as you can see in the bottom left, you just press left trigger for Xbox and it allows you to basically stretch the vinyl out. So instead of just making it bigger or smaller, you can make it kind of thinner or taller or wider and you can sort of stretch it into a custom shape. So get the triangle that I showed you, stretch it out to roughly the kind of shape I'm doing here and put it where I put it here. Now once I've got that kind of blue stripe um, triangle in the right place, I can see that the red isn't sort of high as it should be. So I just move the squares a little bit just to get it looking, you know, as it should. So just move them so that it's looking like this and you've got it right. Now the next thing is you want to make sure that while you're doing all this stuff, you add the symmetry. So you just press the button Y for Xbox and what it does is it just copies everything onto the other side of the car so make sure you're doing that for all this stuff that we're doing on the side and you can see if I've got it um, you know mirrored with the symmetry because you can see this little icon on the vinyl itself but it should be obvious you know but again you'll be able to see when I press that button and you'll know what I'm doing then the next step is you want to go back onto that triangle that you've put down the blue triangle um, click on it and duplicate it or copy it to make another one and then flip the triangle as you've just seen here and then again stretch it around and get it to roughly the shape that I've got it to and then put it where I've got it and then that's the next bit done. Then next what we want to do is make a brand new vinyl this time a square shape again and we're going to change it to the same color as the blue that we've been using so the gloss material, uh, paint material, and the color blue that we've been using for the other shapes. And then you just want to stretch it like I've done, you know, stretch it and shape it and move it to where I've got it. Then we're going to do the same thing, create a new vinyl, this time use this shape here next to the square. Same thing again, gloss material, same color blue, and then you want to match it up to where I've got it here just so that it kind of follows that shape of the square and makes it look, you know, it curves off the square and follows the vinyl down to the bottom of the bumper. And then once you've done that and got it in the right place, you just want to duplicate that vinyl or any vinyl and just fill in that blank hole there where you've got the white patch. Just fill it in with any shape, same color blue. And the next thing we're going to do is just add a sun strip or a window visor. So just white color, and then you want to stretch it out, um, you know, a width ways, and just make it so that it basically looks this sort of shape and size, and there you go. And something you want to make sure you're doing really often is backing out to save it. It just takes two seconds to do it, and it means if your Xbox turns off or freezes or something like that, you're not going to lose the progress that you've done. So save it quite often, it's only really quick to do it. Now the next thing we're going to do is open up a brand new vinyl, this time the square shape again. We're going to make it the metallic colour, so metallic paint uh, material. And then you've got to choose this exact blue that I choose here. So metallic paint and this colour blue. Then once you've got the right colour, just stretch it and shape it as I do and just move it to where I move it. Then next what we want to do is we want to go back to the um, square shape that we used um, before, the dark blue gloss um, square shape. We're going to copy that and then we're going to move that layer onto the top. So we're just basically making a new square but without having to change the colours again. So just a quick shortcut, making a new square, dark blue gloss um, colour that we've used before, put it where I put it here and then you want to duplicate or copy that vinyl 
and you know tilt it a little bit and move it where I move it here. The next thing you're going to do is go back to the light metallic blue um, square vinyl shape, duplicate that and just do what I do here, just basically make the shape continue off a bit further and you know go where it should. So just do this and just move the vinyls where I've got them and then you're going to make a brand new vinyl, a square, make it the gloss dark blue that we've been using for everything else and then make it the top layer and put it where I put it here. Make sure, of course, everything that we've been doing over the last couple of vinyls has been mirrored, so it's both sides. And while I was doing this, I noticed I made a mistake on one of the first vinyls that we did. So the triangle shape that you're just gonna see me highlight over now, um, I didn't actually put um, gloss color. I made it the basic color, so it looked a little bit different to everything else. So I was just uh, sorting that out. So just make sure, again, you're using the same colors for every single vinyl. Then next you want to make a brand new vinyl square, put it the gloss dark blue that we've been using on everything else and put it where you see me put it here so just to carry on the sort of line as it should be going for the rest of the vinyl so just put it where I put it here. And then the next thing we're going to do we're just going to do the same thing create a new square vinyl shape dark gloss blue and we're going to basically fill in the rest of the rear end or the bumper so as you can see here I put it on the top rear of the car and now for the bumper just make it completely dark blue and fill it all in and then I just made sure I saved it again so again if it freezes I'm not going to lose my progress then I'm just going to go in make a brand new square vinyl again dark gloss blue and I'm going to finish off this side of the car or the, you know at least the shapes part of the car put a straight square there and then turn it a little bit just to make it so that the line is a bit more rounded and so put the square is where I show you here and then I also just as after looking at a picture of it in real life car I decided to move this shape only very slightly so just do what I've done there the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a brand new vinyl shape this time a triangle and we're going to put it back to the metallic uh, red that we were using at the start and then make sure it appears behind the blue triangle so as you can see here and then just stretch it and shape it and put it where I put it. Then the next thing you want to do is choose this vinyl shape here and basically stretch it and shape it so that it goes along the sort of fender arches and make sure it's the metallic red that we've been using and then yeah just stretch it and shape it so that it's where I put it here. And then after you've done that, just get a red metallic, uh, metallic red square and just basically fill in the gap that is white, that shouldn't be white, where I put the square here. Then you want to get uh, this shape here, so an oval shape, make it the gloss uh, dark blue that we've been using. And then you want to use this to basically paint the, um, you know, the window pillar, the A-frame pillar, or whatever it's called. Um, and then once you've done that, get a big square dark gloss blue again and basically paint the rest of the roof and so we're doing pretty good so far to be honest this is the hardest bits done really getting all these things lined up is the first sort of big thing you've got to get past so save that and then what we're going to do is go into the paint color or the paint body paint menu whatever you want to call it and now we're going to try and match up the wing mirror cage and spoiler to this metallic blue that we've got already on the car so you can't choose the same color but you can do your best to match it so here I am just trying to match that color up and then you're gonna go back into the vinyl editor menu and you're gonna choose this specific shape here and put it to the metallic red that we've been using on everything else so far and just move it to the place I move it here and then once you've sort of stretched it to the right shape and you've put it where I've put it, what you want to do is then duplicate it and then just move it across until you've got basically what I've got here. And now we're going to move on to the front bumper. What you want to do is get a, don't choose the rounded uh, triangle like I've got here, but choose the straight edge triangle, flip it upside down and then just put it where I've put it and make sure it's the metallic light blue that we've been using on other stuff in the car so far. And once you've done that, just basically copy the same vinyl, flip it upside down, make it a little bit bigger and put it where I put it here. 
And then once you've got the two blue triangles down, you want to copy one of the triangles and make it into the red metallic colour, put it behind these vinyls and put it here. And once you've done that, unfortunately you can't do the same thing for the bottom one because the top of the triangle pokes out sort of onto the hood. So what you want to do is just make a square, make sure it's behind everything and put the symmetry mirror on and just put it where I've put it, duplicate it, do what I've done here. And then after that you want to make a new vinyl shape, this kind of um, curved um, vinyl. And then you just want to add a sort of nice curve to this kind of straight edge thing here. So just put it where I put it here. And then again, you might as well back out and save it just in case you lose anything if the game was to freeze. It just takes two seconds to do. And then the rear bumper, I'm not gonna really explain it because it's just exactly the same thing as we've done on the front bumper, just on the rear bumper. So just do what I do here, put everything where I've put it because I've looked at the pictures in real life and sort of matched them up and tried to get it as good as possible. So just do what I do. Um, use, you might need to use you know symmetry um, like we did before with the square, just because the triangles sort of get too big and they sort of poke out in different areas. So just do what I've done here, using symmetry and triangles. And then we're just going to put a square um, white or white rectangle where the number plate is, same as the in real life car. And then one thing you want to do is check quickly around the car because sometimes when you put stuff onto the rear bumper it can kind of glitch out and it shows on the front bumper as you'll see it's glitched out a little bit on my car. And all you've got to do is just change it so that the um, top layers are the layers which are the front bumper so make sure that all the vinyls for the rear bumper are lower than the front bumper if you get this problem sometimes you don't sometimes you do and now onto the hood or the bonnet of the car we'll finish that off so you want to choose this red triangle here that's kind of got soft edges that's not straight edged and then you just want to get um, you know shape it toward the shape that I've got it here stretch it and get it how it looks here get a red rectangle and just match it up so there's no sort of white spaces and you've done that and once you've done that just copy the tr big triangle that you've done make it gloss dark blue and you know shape it as I've done and put it where I put it here and then once you've done that you want to create a brand new vinyl make it the gloss white color of the car and uh, choose this vinyl here, make it symmetry mirrored. Um, you might need to flip it as well. Just get it where I've got it. And then also what I've done is move the blue triangle because I didn't think it looked right. So just get it how I've got it looking here. And then all I've done is I've just added some sort of rounded kind of objects like circles and stuff and I've just stretched them around, sort of messed about a bit to make it look like this kind of arrow or this M shape. Um, is kind of rounded so that it's not straight edged but it's kind of got smooth edges so just you can do this any way you want but just do what I've got here then just basically copy that shape that we used earlier turn the symmetry off and put it where I put it and this basically makes the workhouse W logo and then just make sure all those white bits that we've just put down all those vinyls are the same color so the gloss white that we used at the start of the um, you know livery design and then all I've done is just look around see how I like things and saved it again and now what we're gonna do is add the sponsors for the front bumper now you can use the same sponsors I've used or you know anything really as long as it's kind of the same sort of shape because I've made sure that the sponsors that I've used here are similar shape and size to the ones in real life so just do kind of what I've done here doesn't have to be the exact sponsors but put, get them in the right place put them where I put them and then what you want to do is basically um, go into this number section here and just make the number one sort of make it a little bit taller and thinner and make um, the inside color the dark blue that we've been using make the outside color the white that we've been using and just make the number 130 this kind of shape and size and put it where I've put it and then the next thing I've done is I've done the sun strip or the window visor so again I've made it look like um, all the sponsors I use are the sort of same sort of shape and color and size as in real life so you can either 
copy the exact sponsors I've used or just use, use similar looking sponsors and put them in the same place that I put everything in. And then also you've got a kind of black line that goes through the, um, you know, window visor and just put it where you see me put that. And then we're just going to do the same on the rear bumper. So again, I'm going to use um, sponsors that I think look close to real life, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to use the exact sponsors I'll use, but just put them roughly where I put them because they're put in the right place as well. And once you put those sponsors down, what I also did is I um, added a kind of bit of roundness to the um, vinyl there. So I just put a rounded shape and made it so that those straight edges were a little bit more rounded off. And then finished the last sponsor for the rear bumper and that's the rear bumper now done and then after i checked out the design a little bit more i kind of figured out that um, the numbers could have been in a bit of a better placement and also the hood and the logo on the, the hood could have been in a better placement so all i've done is i've just shifted things around a little bit so just move stuff to where you've, you see I've got it here. All I've done is basically just shifted everything a little bit closer to the windows because we've got to make space for the Waterhouse logo that we're going to be doing in a second. So all I've done is I've just basically moved everything a little bit upwards. I've made the triangle for the Waterhouse logo a little bit kind of um, shorter and less tall. And then I've just adjusted the um, shapes in the middle so that they match up and it looks like the real logo. So just do what I've done here shift everything forward a little bit and just make it a little bit so that you've got a little bit more space a uh, white space at the front of the hood and you'll see what i mean in a second but i'll leave you with this so just follow what i'm doing here and then i'll see you on the next step another thing i also did is i had to make some new vinyl uh, shapes some white triangles because it ended up being that where I moved stuff around, it didn't have um, straight edges and the, the logo didn't look right. So all I've done is just added a triangle to basically straighten off the edge of this um, W Warthouse logo. So, but, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just depends how good you want to get it. I'm trying to get as you know close to real life as physically possible, but there's no sort of guaranteed perfect way of doing it. Just mess around with the shapes um, again, just basically redo what we did before, just make it so that it's where I've got it here and it goes up to you know that certain spot on the vents of the hood and then you know that you've got it right and you've got it how I've got it. And so here's the reason that we did that. We've got to make room for the Warthouse logo. So all I've got here is I've got a red metallic um, uh, triangle with soft edges, not the straight edged one. And I flipped it upside down or right way up, I guess. And then I've just put a couple of um, letters across just so that I get the kind of idea of is this logo going to fit? So that's why we had to move all the stuff around on the hood is because we had to make room for this logo here. I'm not going to do the whole logo now, so I'm not going to talk through sort of the best way to quickly do that. But this is just so that I'm checking, is it looking right? And what you can't see is obviously I'm matching up photos and checking, does this look like in real life and stuff like that. So just follow what I've got and you'll be all right. And then the next thing I've done is I've just added the rest of the sponsors to the hood. Um, again, you can choose what I've chosen, the exact sponsors or just anything you want, but make sure you put them where I put them because then they're in the right place. And also if you choose the sponsors that I've chosen, I've kind of made sure they look similar to the real life sponsors. So if you want to get it as pop good as possible, just follow what I've done. And now we've finished off the hood, we're just going to actually finish off that Waterhouse logo. And so what we want to do is get a black square and just make sure that it's straight and goes along straight with the car. 
and we're just going to use this as a kind of like line to make sure that we get the Waterhouse logo straight. And then all you want to do is get um, a, you know, a W in the font that we've got here, or any font, doesn't really matter. Um, and then basically, um, I actually make a mistake here. I actually thought there was a small font, but there's only capital font, so you can't get the perfect Warthouse logo, so everything's gotta be in capitals, basically. So all I do <coughs> is I just get um, the letter W, I put it to the kind of um, size and, you know, whatever I think it's gonna be, and then I copy it across, so I get the W, as you see, I'm just changing the size of it here to make sure that it will fit the whole word. And then I copy it across, so just duplicate that vinyl across loads of times. And then what you want to do is replace the vinyl. And the way to do that is don't select the vinyl, but uh, highlight over the vinyl and then you click X and it allows you to basically just change the shape without um, changing the size. So that you can quickly um, write a word that's all the same letter size and it looks you know it looks neat and tidy and it looks how it should do it looks nice and clean so there we go that's how I've got the Warthouse logo so just write it out get it looking this sort of size and shape and make it so that the sort of spacing in between the letters looks good and it looks you know nice and clean and you know you're done you've made your custom Warthouse sponsor and and then I'll, I'll see you in the next uh, little section and tell you what to do there And again, all I'm doing is just checking it over, thinking, you know, does this look nice? Does it look like real life? I've been comparing it to the in real life pictures and I'm quite happy with that. And again, I've saved it just in case I don't want to lose any progress if the Xbox freezes. And let's keep going. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the kind of driver, um, you know, name tag. Um, for James Dean number 130 formula drift for this specific um, livery so what we're going to do is go and get this shape here which is a hollow kind of square just with the outline of the square and then get it gloss black and make it as small as you can um, or short as you possibly can and then make it wide so make it really short and then just stretch it out wide and then obviously it kind of because of the shape we're using it now looks a little bit weird so obviously make it symmetry across to the other side as well but then what you want to do is choose this vinyl here which is like a kind of square flames vinyl and put it to gloss white the same color as the you know body paint and then you're just going to move that into a little spot where it basically just gets rid of some of the black so it just makes this um sort of rectangle look nice and neat rather than sort of too the side edges being really thick and the top edges being really thin the rectangle now looks you know like a proper rectangle with the lines are all the same width so do that and then you've got the sort of name plate ready to go and then now what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for doing the Waterhouse logo for the side of the car so you're going to choose this vinyl shape here which is a kind of triangle on top of a square and then change it to the metallic red, uh, same color that we've been using for all the other vinyls on the car and put it roughly to where I put it here. And then once we've done that, I'm just going to finish off this side by putting the, you know, the rest of the sponsors where they should be. So again, you can copy the sponsors I use. Um, doesn't have to be. You can use anything you want. Um, but just sort of put them where I put them because I've made sure I've put them in the right place according to the in real life drift livery. So use whatever sponsors you want. But put them in these places and make sure that the ones that are over the blue are in white. And these ones that I'm just putting down on the white are in black. And then again on the other blue section, make those sponsors white. And then once again, you might as well save it after you've done that. Again, I save it every couple of minutes just to make sure I'm not going to lose anything if the game freezes. 
And now the next thing is we're actually going to finish off the Waterhouse logo for the side of the car. So what you want to do is get a straight line, stretch it across, could be a square, could be a line, whatever, as long as it's got a flat edge, stretch it across to where you want to write the word, just so that we can follow this line and make sure that we get it all straight. And then same as the other Waterhouse logo, all you want to do is go into the you know standard font, grab the letter W, and then sort of make it into what you think is going to be the right size and copy it across all the way and then from there you'll be able to sort of tell is it going to fit is it going to be too big or too small and as you can see I messed it up I sort of copied it all over and then it was too um, it was too small so I had to resize it and start again it's no issue it's really quick to do um, so yeah just do what I've done here And then again, once, you, once you've done it, make sure you're happy with it, save it, you know, check it and make sure it looks nice. And then we're just gonna get a white triangle and we're gonna make it gloss white, same color as the body paint. And we're just gonna basically um, get this little icon, the Waterhouse logo looking right. So we just add a white square sort of underneath it. And obviously make sure this um, logo is mirrored to the other side but don't mirror the Warthouse um, name because it won't work properly. So just do the logo. And then the next thing we want to do is finish off the nameplate. So what we've got to do is add the number 130, add the initials JD, and then all I do after that is just add um, a red um, square uh, sponsor that looks a little bit similar to the red FD uh, logo. And then I've got another sponsor that looks like the sponsor in real life that is on the car. And I've made that small and that's the nameplate done. And then the next thing you want to do once you've finished off the nameplate is you want to just uh, get the Warthouse logo icon looking good and all you want to do is just basically do what we did on the big logo but a smaller version of it so get this shape here um, duplicate it so that it sort of you know goes in the middle and then you might need to round it off with a little bit of a curved shape if it's looking a little bit too pointy or something um, just get it how it looks good for you again you know you can rush it and make it really quick and you know or you can spend a little bit longer and get it more detailed. So do that, mirror that, and you've got the Warthouse icon looking good. And then the next thing I've done is I've put a line back under the Warthouse, and this is just to make it easier to write the Warthouse on the other side of the car. And then also I've just finished off the Warthouse logo by adding the, um, the other white piece that makes it into the sort of W um, shape. So I've finished off the Warthouse icon, got that mirror to the other side. I've then put a line underneath the Warthouse, um, you know, word and mirrored that onto the other side. And that's going to help with, uh, with writing out Warthouse on the other side of the car. And then basically all we're going to do is go onto the other side of the car and just using the same method as before, we're going to write the Warthouse logo all the way across. And actually I made this a bit easier because what I did is I took the W from the uh, side of the car that we've already done. I copied that W and I moved it around to this side of the car, projected it, and then I know that we've kind of got the right size letter W. And then we just copy the W all the way across as you can see and finish off writing the Warthouse name and then we're just going to do the nameplate as well for this side um, and just do exactly the same as we did on the other side. So finish off the Warthouse name, finish off the little uh, nameplate and then we're done on this side. And then all I've done after that is I've just gone round on both sides and just checked um, is it looking how I want it to look, is everything looking you know, clean and the lines all match up and everything looks nice. And yeah, I've just done a once over, I looked on this side, looked on the other side. If there's anything that I thought was kind of glitching out or didn't look right, I've just, you know, made it look a little bit better. But all depends on how sort of accurate and realistic and, you know, clean you want to get it. And now we're nearly finished on the design, just the last couple of bits. What we're going to do now is write the Falcon um, sponsor. So we're actually going to make uh, the real life sponsor rather than just using a Carex a generic one because it's really easy to make the Falcon sponsor on this game there's a font that looks very similar to Falcon so you just use that font 
we've got it in the white gloss color and then again just to help with making it straight we've got a black line and we've just put that across so that we can you know make sure this sponsor is looking nice and straight all the way and then use the sort of copying duplicating of the um, word little trick and then just replace each letter to the right letter and then you've got the falcon word and once you've got that you know looking nice and clean uh, what we're gonna do then is you're just gonna add um, this um, not this shape here this is a different shape I sort of made a mistake at the start there's something better that you can use so use this kind of um, lightning bolt um, shape here make it really small uh, make it the color metallic red or just any red doesn't really matter because it's so small and put it sort of where the F letter would be and just so that it looks like the real life Falcon sponsor and then that's that sponsor done and then all we're going to do is recreate that on the other side using the same tricks as we used for the Warthouse logo so we've mir uh, put that um, black line with a mirrored symmetry effect so we've got the same line in the same place and then I've copied the F over as well and I've projected that so it's the same shape and then all I've done is just copied the F along and then the same thing replaced all the F's with um, the right letter to spell the word Falcon and then put that red sort of lightning bolt in the same place and then again you've got that Falcon sponsor in the right place that's done and now both sides I think are finished I'm pretty sure anyway and then now what we're gonna do is just the same thing as we've, we've done before, but on the front bumper. So just this exact same method, writing Falcon, you know, in the same way. Um, this is as small as you can get it. In real life, the Falcon sponsor is a little bit smaller than I'm gonna put it here, but you can't physically get it any smaller than we've got it on the car, on this game. So and then again, just as I was checking over the car, I sort of thought that um, one of the lines didn't match up properly on the thing that I did here. So all I've done is just put a layer on top, a triangle, and I've made the sort of bit that wasn't sort of straight and didn't look right. I've just sort of fixed that. So it all depends on projecting the vinyls and sometimes they appear sort of weird over sort of curves and bits of the body kit. So all I've done is just quickly fix that. And now we're gonna do the final sponsor, the final Falcon sponsor on the rear bumper. So just do it, same method again. Um, <clears throat> do it the same sort of size and shape that I've done it and put it in the same spot and that's that done and in real life the sponsors on the side they say Falcon tires <coughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Tamiris tires or whatever it's called um, sponsor or whatever yeah someone Tamiris tires we're gonna take this sponsor from car X put it and so that it lines up where it should be um, so that it Basically, we're going to make it look like it says Falcon tire. So we've got the Tamiris tires and all we're going to do is choose a square vinyl, put in metallic blue and we're going to cover up the Tamiris part. So now that the now the um, sponsor says Falcon tires, so put the Tamiris tires um, sponsor down, cover up a bit of it with the blue um, metallic shape, doesn't matter what shape. And then now that sponsor looks like Falcon tires rather than just Falcon. And then again, once you've got that looking nice, just do a little once round of the car, make sure everything's looking how you want it to look, give it a quick save. And when I was looking over the car, I realized that this little bit of the blue, um, you know, triangle shape that we did at the start has kind of not gone over the body as it should. So I've just put another green uh, blue triangle on top of it. And I'm just going to basically make it so that that line is as it should because it's glitched a little bit. So just put a triangle where I put it here and that, that fixed it for me. And then the next thing I've done is I've just sort of gone around checking everything and I realized that the uh, Warthouse logo icon on the hood I hadn't finished off. So same thing as we did before, <clears throat> get a white triangle, put it on the bottom of the shape and then get that kind of white um, slanted rectangle and, you know, get it to sort of, um, actually no, I didn't, I used the letter I and made it as small as I could because the triangle, the shape before uh, that I was just talking about, that wouldn't work. So. I've got the letter I, made it as small as I can and really thin, and I've used that to sort of finish off the Warthouse icon logo. And then, finally, that is it. You have finished the Warthouse James Dean number 130 uh, Formula Drift livery. Just go around it, make sure everything lines up and looks nice and looks how you want it. 
and then we'll finish off the interior so this is exactly how it is in the real life car <clears throat> he's got one of the seats the passenger seat is a kind of normal uh, racing seat and then the driver's seat is a racing seat with a halo around it so it's got those kind of um, extra pieces by the side of your head so just do that for uh, this you can choose there's different seats some of them have the halo some of them don't um, but these are the two seats I thought matched up best so we've got the driver's seat with the halo around the sides of the head the passenger seat is just more of a normal racing seat and then for the steering wheel we've got a like a normal Sparco kind of steering wheel with one yellow line at the top then for the handbrake this is the exact same handbrake as um, is in the real life car and the shifter also looks very similar too and at the end I'm just going to show you some pictures of my finished design next to some in real life photos of the Formula Drift car so you can see you know how accurate it looks and then I might even show you a drift video or something else at the end. So yeah here's some in real life pictures of the you know Formula Drift James Dean number 130 Waterhouse livery and then here's a couple of pictures of mine next to it same sort of angles and same sort of you know tried to recreate the picture as good as I could um, and yeah just after this there'll be a little short clip of me drifting East Toge or Ibisu Short Minami nice little tandem section with a couple of people online thanks for watching really appreciate it if you've watched to the end I probably won't do another video this long in the future I'll keep it a bit more short and simple uh, liveries and tutorials but thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one peace